Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. It's Saturday, Saturday afternoon in Sydney, Australia. Uh, still extremely hot here, still summer. Uh, last week in Australia, so making the most of it. Uh, today's about wheels. Today's about caring for your 911 wheels. It's about choosing your 911, more particularly 997 wheels, and uh, just how I look after my wheels. Uh, I'm not saying what I do is completely correct. Uh, I was asked this question during the week and I thought that's a good idea for a video. So today we're going to talk about wheels, specifically my wheels, how I care for them, why I chose them. Uh, the car, the 997 that I have, the 2006 uh, 2006 997, uh, as most of you would know, had 20 inch Techart wheels. Uh, the Techart wheels, um, which you're probably going to see on the screen now, I'll put a clip of the old Techart wheels up there so you can see them. Uh, if you haven't seen them before, they're a very good wheel, uh, they're a very expensive wheel, uh, they are way too big for the 997. Um, the previous owner put them on when I purchased them from uh, the dealer here in Sydney. Uh, they didn't have the original OEM, OEM wheels, they just had those wheels. Uh, my car was originally spec'd on the uh, coating, it was spec'd with the Sport Classic, I think. The ones with the multiple, sp the very multiple spoke ones, I can't remember the name, 19 inch multiple spoke wheels. So it wasn't spec'd with the standard Carrera 18 inch wheels, Carrera 3 wheels, I think they're called. It was spec'd with a 19 inch wheel, but the multiple spoke one, the Sport, I think it's called Sport Classic. Uh, I'll put it here because I can't remember at the moment. Um, so after a few months, uh, I didn't hate the Tech Art wheels. Uh, those of you who watched my previous videos will know that I didn't hate them. But then it got to the point where I really just wanted the car to have OEM wheels. But I wanted OEM wheels with a slight twist. Uh, and to get that twist, I found a, a, a guy in the UK called Chris from XL Wheels. And I found him through I think Piston Heads in the UK had someone had a forum post about him and then I found more posts about him then I looked at his Facebook and his wheel the quality of the wheel finish the refurbish that he was doing was excellent uh, so I contacted him um, and asked him one if he had a set of lobster wheels because I decided I'm not going to go through the process how I got to the lobster wheels uh, but I decided on the lobster wheels uh, 19, 19 inch Carrera S lobster wheels um, I did think of Sport Classic wheels at one stage and I did cost them and they were really, really expensive, the, the Fuchs types uh, Sport Classic wheels, but I decided against them purely due to the cost. Um, so then I went back to the Lobster and the reason why I chose the Lobster is because the Lobster to me is like a Fuchs wheel and the Lobster will become one of those iconic classic Porsche wheels. And it's one of those wheels that people, a lot of people didn't like when it first came out. Uh, I think the Fuchs, when they first came out, people weren't so keen on them either, and they've just got, uh, you know, iconic status now. And I think the Lobster is one of those wheels. Um, so, I contacted Chris, he just happened to have a pair of Lobster Carreras wheels. This is what they looked like when he sent me the picture. Uh, they did not need refurbishing. They were absolutely immaculate. Uh, I wanted the two-tone finish, he did the two-tone finish, he'd done it before, he'd also done it in the GT4, GT3, Satin Platinum, Carrera S optional wheel, OB4 is the code, uh, Porsche OB4 paint code. He has, uh, he had done them before, uh, I saw pictures of the ones he'd done before, the quality was amazing, so I got them to do the wheel with that colour and I've got the lip left as silver, the silver lip. Re refinished of course, not the original finish, but refinished. Yeah, so that's that's how I got to the Lobster Wheel. Really happy. Uh, like I said, bought them in the UK, shipped two across back to Australia, and brought two back with me in my hand lug in my not in my hand luggage in my luggage. Uh, luckily, I have a large luggage allowance for travelling regularly, so I brought them back in my luggage. Um, so that's the wheels. Had the wheels fitted, got the new caps uh, as well. The caps match because the Porsche wheel, the wheels I did, the OEM wheels are a Porsche color, which makes it easier when you need to match the caps. Uh, so um, yeah, so I got the caps in exactly the same color. That's a quick rundown, a quick background for those of you who are watching who don't know the history of the wheels. For those of you who do, it's probably a bit boring. You've heard it so many times before, but that's the wheels. So uh, last night I went down and washed my wheels. Uh, and this is the process that I go through uh, and this is what I and my wheels are pretty immaculate I have to say that they're, they're not stained by brake dust they're not pitted they're in 
good condition. And sure, I don't do a lot of kilometers, but they are in very good condition. Now, the reason why I think is firstly, um, when I bought the wheels, in fact, I, I didn't actually do it when the wheels weren't installed, which was crazy because they're sitting here on my floor for weeks and I didn't do it, but I got the uh, Gion, I'm just reading it, the Gion coating. Okay, so I put the Gion quartz coating, I think it is. I'll, put a, I'll show it here on the screen now, the one I used. I put that on the wheels beforehand, did the proper pre-finishing, cleaning them, put that on. Um, I've only done that once. I might do it again soon because you're supposed to redo it after X amount of time or kilometers. My car's not driven a lot, as you guys know, so I'm not that fussed. I think it's still okay. So that was put on first. Now my cleaning, my cleaning uh, schedule, my cleaning routine is like what I did last night. So the first thing I do is I hose the wheel down, uh, so the wheels, and spray all the uh, crap off the wheel. Um, then I use my car shampoo. So I use the, um, I use just my Dodo Juice car shampoo on the wheels, so I make it very, uh, very strong. I wash the wheels. Uh, you'll see a bit of it now. I filmed a little bit last night. Not great footage because it was downstairs and it's dark. So I, uh, I clean the wheels, I hose that off. Uh, when I dry the wheels, uh, which you'll see now as well, I, I don't think I'm showing it drying, but I dry them with a chamois. I pat them dry with a chamois, um, and that's how I clean them. Now, the other thing to keep them in good condition, which uh, I do quite regularly, which my friend actually recommended, is I put car wax on them. Now, I don't use any special wax. I use the wax that I use on my car, which is this wax, uh, and I just wax the wheels, and I wax the face of the wheels, and I wax the inside of the wheels. Now the only other thing that I may do is I do the, um, I have another product from Dodo Juice which is really good called Ferris, Bu not Ferris Bueller, Ferris Dula. It's called Ferris Dula and you spray it on. I only spray it on on the inside of the wheel, the rim. I don't spray it on the face. Uh, on my old tech guts I sprayed it on the face and it took the colors off the bolts and a little bit of color off the cap. Uh, so I tend to just spray it on the inside of the wheel. Uh, that takes all the iron, you know, it comes off red when you spray it, but I don't do that every time. It doesn't need it. I do it occasionally. You can also use Ferris Dula on your bodywork as well, which I don't, uh, but you can use it on your bodywork. Um, so that's what I do. I, they've got the Gion coating. They get waxed regularly, which is very important. Uh, I wash them with a soft uh, chamois type sponge. I use the car shampoo. Occasionally I use the iron ferris Dula remover to remove all the deposits uh, and I keep away from curbs. Keep away from curbs is one of the most important things because you don't want a curb wheel that really spoils the look of your 911. <laughs> but um, that's pretty much the routine. It's pretty simple. Uh, someone asked me during the week uh, how I look after my wheels. That's how I look after my wheels. That's how I care for them. The reason why I chose them is because I wanted OEM, I wanted the classic Porsche wheel. The classic Porsche wheel is, in my instance, in the, in the 997 generation, in the water cool generation. I still think it's one of the best wheels Porsche has ever done. Uh, I think the Lobster is the wheel. And I know it, a lot of people hate it, but a lot of people love it. And it's a great wheel. If you haven't got one, in fact, James at Auto Amateur has just bought some for his car. I don't know whether he's posted the video yet. I'm going to post another link to his channel. I know they do this regularly, but uh, James and I have similar tastes. Uh, he's a great guy and he talks about the 997 all the time. So uh, I'm using a Sony RX100 Mark IV now. Uh, it's a very annoying process because it keeps overheating. I'm doing this video in 4K. I'm going to try and upload it in 4K for a change just to see the quality. It's overheating. It's terrible at the moment so I have to keep stopping and starting. What I was saying was uh, James at Auto Amateur, watch his videos. He's about to put the Carrera, uh, Carrera Lobster wheels on his car. He's getting them refurbished in the US. Uh, I don't know if he's doing the same color as me or not. I don't, I don't know. Maybe he has. I don't know. I, I can't remember. I think he is. I think it's a similar color. Oh, but no silver lip. I think it's one color. Anyway, I know he was about to pick these wheels up. I'm not sure if he's done the video. If he has, I'll put a link. If not, this is James' channel. He's more hands-on than, hands than me, but another great 997 channel. Uh, so let's keep the uh, 997 support going on YouTube. Forget about supercars. It's all about the Porsche 997. Um, that's it for today. Uh, Caring for your 911 wheels, caring for your 997 wheels. I hope this has been helpful for those guys out there, you guys out there who want to know more about it. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Um, but that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. <laughs>